Hello everybody and welcome back for another game we need to try together. Today we are going for Dealer's Life Legend. We will be playing as a merchant and we will be haggling around to become the legend. So let's go check it out if it's any good. Uh, if you want to play it yourself, you can find a link down in the description. New game. So who are we? So we can be human, we can be were sheep. Alright, we can be dwarf, we can be elf. We can be Pengling. Interesting. We can be Orc. You know what? Orc is Orc is down there. That sounds interesting. Color choice. Let's go for the green. Let's go with the ooh. All right. Ooh, that is the best. <laughs> this one. No, this, this one is the best with the red eyes. Look at him. He just wants to sell you some good stuff. All right. We will go with the red hair. No, I think this one is go going good. Yeah, this one. Okay, and dress. Yeah, this one is fine. All right, look at me. Now we, now we, now we talking. Okay, ability points. What the hell? The abilities. Strength, intimidate your customers. They be less likely to interrupt a negotiation or discover cursed items. Estimate more items with more currency. Discover cursed items and customers' abilities more easily. Strike better deals with customers. All right, let's go with strength and let's go with the uh, haggle. I like that. And we don't have intelligence. That's not what we are going for. Normal difficulty? Yeah. And see your name. We will be two to two two. And we can start. Long ago, only perilous wildlands and warring cities existed. People suffered from poverty and hunger due to endless skirmishes and sieges. But amidst the conflict-ridden lands, a mysterious figure from nowhere appeared. A wandering Classic. merchant with unparalleled skill cunningly traveled from city to city until he eventually owned everything in every city he visited. After amassing his wealth, the merchant founded a new empire called Pecunia and declared himself its emperor, ushering in an era of unprecedented prosperity and peace. To commemorate his rise, the emperor instituted the Wandering Merchant Quest, a perilous race from the outskirts of Pecunia to its heart, the capital for merchants seeking ultimate prosperity. Every 20 years, all town governors honor this century's old tradition, and today, a new champion for the Wandering Merchant Quest is elected. If the champion reaches the capital within the time limit, part of the accumulated wealth will be distributed among the inhabitants of the champion's hometown. Now, let the election begin! All right! The townspeople voted the champion for the quest to be... You! You may come nice. from an unknown small town Let's at the go. edges of Petunia, but you have the chance to rise to the occasion and to bring fame and fortune to your home. Are you ready? No! Let the quest begin! Alright, let's go for the quest! Welcome to Deal's Live Legend demo. This demo is limited to first settlement to give you an overview of the Merkin mechanics. In the full game, you will be able to travel to other settlements. Okay, so what's going on? I'm not sure. But we got tavern, we got workshop, we got something that is under construction, we will not go there. We got them. Oh, hi! They call me Thunderica Stickbear. Breaker. Take heed of these fine items, it will surely be worth a lot of gold. I will just go down with everything. Alright, thank you. Uh, Alright, so what, what do we know? What, we I don't know anything. So we got lightning book. Knowledge. It's uncommon. It's ruined. Uh... Yep, the tutorial kinda would be advised. Intelligence. Customers with a high intelligence score can better estimate the value of the item they are negotiated for. They are also more likely to discover cursed items. 
collecting. Customers with a high collecting score tend to overestimate almost everything. If they come to buy, it's uh, it's party time. But he is not. Gone... At the first time, it surely be worth a lot of gold. So he wants to sell me this. The value that you think the item is worth, you never know the exact value of the items. You always make estimates based on your intelligence. I don't. <laughs> That's not what I have. So I... There's 900. Rarity defines how exclusive the item is. Let's deal, I guess. 500? No, 4.99. I don't know. I accept there should be more honest trader like you. What? You successfully cut the deal for 4.99. Okay. Good mor uh, morning. They call me Arakina. That smell. I was wandering in the bag of holding when I found this exquisite treasure. I have your attention. So it's common, battered, so it's just really bad. We don't know anything about what's going on here. So I don't want that, not interested. It's battered, what the hell? Salutation and I'm a slim blade. At your service, a desired treasure over there. Might we negotiate for it? I'm coming and battered. Let's deal. It's debattered, but it's uncommon. And let's go, uh, you know, for something really... She's what? What is this? Greed. Customers with a high greed score will never accept any offer that is too far over their ideal price. They will also look to maximize their profit. Customers with a high patience score will let you make more counter offers before going away making a last offer. Alright, so let's go, let's go 499. <laughs> Do you really want the offer? Well... I accept or am I satisfied? What the f <laughs> I think that, uh, yeah, you successfully cut the deal for 4 dollars Plus 5 stars, plus 1 prestige. Customers that never gets angry during the options will recommend you to his friends. Nice. How much experience you gain from the sale? The better the sale results, the more experience you gain. I think that was impressive. I'd say. Yeah. 4 dollars Battered. We don't want that. Not interested. Get away. Alright, daily stats, weekly stats. So we got experience, we got prestige, we got some earnings, right? Oh, not, not really. Uh, okay, Kim, no. Let's go back. So, I don't know what happened because we still have 10,000. What the hell? <laughs> what happened? Earnings? Why do I have plus... Oh... That's what it is. So this one we bought, but the, the sword we sold? And I just haven't seen that coming? I guess that's what it is. Alright, let's go back. What do we have? We got some toolmaker? Or... what? Cow? Why? We will get money out of that. We can buy for 20,000. Or we can go with the slime. Third week, very slow. Preferred biome, it's a loyal steed. Why would I go with that? Goat. Who want goat? Slow. Should I buy it? Maybe not. All right, what is that? Living quarters. Items inventory potion. Oh, nice. So this is our thing and we can increase the thing, right? So we can increase the potion slots for 10,000. All right, that's the that's the one thing. I want to check out what are the possibilities. We can go to the tavern. Hi, and we might select my balloons if you want to hear some hints. And don't forget to check out the board for news and job advertisement. Okay. Beware quest, we don't have that. Artificial for hire. 
We're expert on items able to fix any damaged items. So we will be able to buy this guy to 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 repair the items and sell them for more. I get it. Wizard. Overcome any situation. Use to transform a companion skill into adjacent one. The effect lasts until the next skill check. If we're Today I accepted a drink from the merchant and after I brought the bag full of ridiculous hats, I didn't need a huge amount of gold. I suspect this is something to do with the drink. Curse items are blessed. Wake up! Acunia is built on the giant illusion. Magic does not exist, it's only believing it exists. Cursed items are not really cursed. They are blessed with the truth of the light. They reveal the Emperor's fake magic, no more illusions. For anyone interested, tomorrow the tavern will host the unusual knitting group session. <laughs> anyone interested? Please, someone answer. Anyone. Okay. So... Alright, that's the tavern. What is the box for? Available auctions. For 42,000 we can just have 5 items. Alright. So that's auction. And this one is what? Loans. Ah. Oh. Alright. And that's it, right? There is something that we don't understand or that is not implemented. There is a house. Oh, so for 31 of those, we will have a discount or come carpentry. For 21, we will have one dice. Okay, so there is the there is the thing with the um, with the prestige. I like that everything is like written, right? And you will click and uh, you will uh, discount or bonus cash. All right, there is a map. Oh my god. That... <laughs> what the hell? It's still going. That's goddamn far away. All right, that's interesting. That's quite a lot of things. But you know what? We need to start small. So let's go back here to haggle, right? One customer? It's a buyer. Okay. All right. I see. I, I have not seen it before. At your service, I'm in need of one of your items. It would be a nice gift. Okay, so he wants to buy this art. It's battered. And it's uncommon. He uh, collecting, so he will be paying more. And he uh, wants uh, greed. So... He will not want to go from uh, the value that you think that the item is worth. You'll never know the exact value. Yeah, my estimate is just bad. Let's deal. He want to buy it from uh, 2,600. I'm sure we both agree on the price. No. We want 2,999. Or do you say 2,750? All right. 2,849. I think I can accept your offer. It was a pleasure doing business with you. Mm, let's go. So we got some money. Let's go! I don't know, maybe it was uh, it was bad. Alright, so that's another day, right? Day three. So we can go there and uh, again. I don't know what exactly we are supposed to do, like, in meanwhile. Maybe invest in something? Fire! She wants to buy the legendary and pristine item for 2000. What the hell? Greetings, I'm Lovely. I want to offer you, uh, I want of your items. Customer under high intelligence because can better estimate the value of the item they are negotiating for. They are also more likely to discover accursed items. Patient. I don't want to, right? For 2000? Pristine and legendary? She's like too smart for this. I don't think that's that's not interested. 2000? Good more, you can call me Zephyr and uh, I'd like to acquire that treasure over there. Would you sell it to me? I think I could, right? 
I bought it for $4.99. And I can sell it more. He wants $890. How much paid you for this item? That's good that it is written here. I like that. I like that a lot. Estimate. Okay, let's deal. Now... 1020. No, we want we want uh, 10 zero 0.99. No, I say a uh, 1040. No, we want 1049. Uh, let's deal. All right. Prestige money. Great. Get some profit. Fire. Fair, and it's uncommon. Let's deal. It's 2000. He's stupid, what? Oh, he's collector. Ho, ho, ho. Now we talking, now we talking. It's 4499. Ooh. Ooh. Nope. 488. That could be magical number. No, like this. No, I'm thinking about when I accept or I'll leave. Should I? It's a double. So yeah, let's let's do it. That's a double. All right, daily stats. I don't know what I mean, what we are supposed to do. Meanwhile, like we can buy more artifacts. That's what we could do. Or maybe there will be a seller. Oh, here you are. Ruined and common. Is a collector, and he's intelligent collector. That's scary. Like, I'm not intelligent, like, at all. So, <laughs> so he is intelligent, and he's, like, estimated the price better than my eye, right? I'm like, eh, 87. What's deal? 49. Hmm. I'm really trying, but it seems like we are not on the same page. I would stand here anymore. Oh, no. He's going away. Seller. Common and battered. That's just bad. I don't know. Let's deal. What the hell? 200. No. 199. Let me think. I don't think we are uh, come to agreement to this. May Imperial protect you. What they are thinking? In trying to robbing me or what? Two more people. Oh, the amulet. I have one. Hell, well, that's you meant what's one of your items. I'm willing to pay a fair price. Or do I? I don't have it anymore. Oh, he want to buy my item. But what the hell? Why is it common? If I know it's because the item is rare, the item is usually more valuable, but most of they attract more customers. The item's condition greatly influences the value. If you have a po potions of repair, you can repair the damage item and increase its profitability. I am not sure. Later. Oh, Palmer. Salutations, my name is Arcana Cod uh, Wiggle. I want this splendid piece, I need to pawn it. Rare and battered. This item is pawned. You can't do anything with it until the pawn ticket expires. It's all on my return to reclaim it by uh, repaying the loan. Should the owner fail to appear, this item will become yours. Pawn items are securely held by the Imperial Bank. When traveling, you must wait to be in town to resolve their status. All right, let's deal. How much do... That, that, that's kind of like... Yeah, I know, you are intelligent one, but... What the hell? No? 3.99. No. I'm not sure. My estimation is not there. Let's start on... On a half. Something like that. I'm appalled by your audacity. <laughs> <laughs> my, 
my audacity. Uh, I don't know if I want to give him a four. That's a lot of money. No. Fire. Oh, this one. Not interested. Yeah, we, that, that's bad, right? There's new stuff in checkout. Campetry, Shrouded Relics Emporium. Okay, what, what, what is here new? I don't have potions. Oh, there's it. There, there is the one. No, 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 no. Boar. Oh, we can go with this, right? A full price to purchase the loyal steed. I don't like that. Snail cut. <laughs> Snail cut. What, what is that? You cannot sell your law only loyal steed. Ay, that's what it is. Very slow. Oh, this is the cost you pay every week to feed the loyal steed. Oh, and this is only 30. Low steed speed influences the travel's duration, but we will not travel. So this is this is we have only one. Uh, but we will not certainly want to pay 600 a week. Available auctions: five items for 15,000. <laughs> no. New items, but not interested. Let's go here. Let's go some haggle some money. Seller. All right, let's deal. 290 Great Let's go to 2024 uh, Alright Let's do that There's new stuff in down Check out auction house Available auctions Rare rune. Oh, rare and fair. I can give there something. The value that you think that item is worth. You never know the exact value of items. Let's try it, right? Only 13... Legendary and pristine, and you don't want to go for it? Huh. Uh, what can I do? Nobody? When's the auction for two, uh, 2,800? That's bad. Let's go for this one. Three. If you leave now, we won't be able to join the auction anymore. Like rare and fair. What the hell? No. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, we won something. Nice! Auction is ours. We lost. We lost that pristine thing. Pawner. Again? Let's deal. 150. Consider a deal. Nice. Fire. It's ruined. I can, uh, I can see that. What's your price? Two... No. 325 Nice. We earned something on that. Tavern. What's going on in the tavern? Wizards for high, memorable. Message from innkeeper, people would you drink? Mercenary for hire. Okay, cleric. Blessed by the ability to cure wounds and counter dark magic. What? 
So there we may be in the game more than we can see, right? Because th this is, seems like a Colosseum. So maybe we will fight. Maybe we'll hire guys that we will send to fight. And there will be like more layers. Ju not just... You're not just a merchant, but maybe we'll be something else in the future. Um, allegiance. Neutral. Okay, got some experience. We don't have... We don't have uh, anything to sell, kinda. Potion of repair. We don't have any potions. Oh, we need we need more stuff. How? Through auction, right? But it feels like three items. What the hell? That seems like a steal. All right, three people. Let's give me something. Seller. Oh, that's nice. It's common, right? But it's fair. Let's deal. Two... 850. Oh no! I misclicked. Fire. On this book. Let's deal. 330. Let's go uh, 399. Um, Please doing business. Was a buyer or a seller? <laughs> oh, he's back. Let's deal. My is 499. I'm pleased. All right, that's fine. But now I certainly don't have anything. That's two. One is pawned and one is rare and ruined. <laughs> that's, that's tragic. What can I do? So I will need to go here. Three items for 800. Let's go. What? The value of the next bit of the auction. Oh, it's starting on that. Holy moly! That's bad. We'll we'll give ten thousand. Yeah, I don't want that. So that sucks. <laughs> uh, and one seller. All right, we need it. We need it. <laughs> uh, could it be right price? Let's go 225. Satisfied. Okay, at least we are getting. Uh, um, getting the thumbs up. Potter! <sighs> like, let's deal. Now, 460, let's go 350. Seller. Let's deal. How much do you say it would cost? <laughs> Common and ruined? 150. Let's say 168. I think okay, but I think we will we will um not really get any money out of that. Car carpentry? That's something. Oh, living quarters. Oh, nice. So we can upgrade this for 10,000, but we don't need... Well, just don't make any sense. Don't make any sense to do that. Okay, let's go for one more. Got one. Ooh! That's the one from the auction. For 1,800? Alright, let's deal. I think 930 could be good. No, we are going 750. Consider a deal. Perfect. Auction house. Shrouded Relic Emporium. Oh, plus three. Rare and battered. 10,000. You goddamn freak. 680. Let's go. This is bad.
Don't want to. Could I? There's nothing I can uh, go for. This one. Let's go for the auction. Over 2,000, please. Please. It's rare. It's really good. It changed your life. Nice. Nice. The ruined is the price point, right? Because it's ruined, it seems rarer than it is. Let's go. One more. Oh, let's go. We, we're making money. We're making money. Two and a half. Okay. All right. I'll take it. I'll take it. That's good. What do we have here? 2,000 for 5,000. Let's go. Auction. I'm going for it. I don't think that I'll go again. <laughs> 10,000 is 5,000 for one item. I don't think that you can, like, get it back. So, one last haggle. Bye. Let's deal. 160. No, we want 250. It's a pleasure to meet your business. Nice. All right. How much? 200, 2050. 200%. Let's go. And buy. Let's deal. 400. No. I will not give it to you for the price. 5,000 earnings. I think we are... Ooh, level up. Let's go. So, you know what? Let's go for a little bit of intelligence. <laughs> Just to estimate those prices could be really crucial for uh, sometimes. Oh, yeah. But that's it. Thank you very much for being... Thank you for your time. This was the dealer's life. And it seems for people to, uh, to like the to haggle and be a merchant. This seems like a really, really good, good time. Like the... And look at the map. There is so many things. I don't know what will be added by those places. What is different? If they added like different kind of you you see oh different kind of like um places to be and it seems that you will have your steed you will have mercenaries there is there is quite a lot to it so that's kind of interesting but yeah that's it thank you very much for me thank you for your time if you want to check out more content you can click on the videos above me or you can smash the subscribe button to not miss any video that i will upload um in the future and yeah have a good one and i'll see you next time peace